Blood Mist Obito, our little rage boy. Well, the episode he went ballistic on some sand people, I mean mist people, was pretty good. He awakened the Mangeku and just destroyed them all. But how strong was he exactly? Because it's difficult to tell, right? First we have to see that he never fought anyone relevant in the story. The only characters he fought against were not very important at all. They were jobbers. They were only there to die. So we have to look at Obito's actual feats in that very brief fight to determine how strong he was and who he could fight against hypothetically in the Naruto universe. Obito used to be a Chunin level fighter until he was crushed by that rock and we can see that he wasn't very good. He got a little better when he awakened the Mangekyo, being able to work together with Kakashi, a Jonin, but I wouldn't put him in Jonin level when he awakened the double Tomoe Sharingan because that's not very impressive, I mean Sasuke had that in part 1, but then he gets an implant from a white Zetsu which allows him to use wood style and when he goes to find Rin and Kakashi he actually starts to use wood style with a lot of proficiency. He was also encased by the spiral Zetsu which gave him a great boost in strength and I would have to assume speed as well because when he was running he was breaking the ground underneath him which is pretty badass. But still, Spiral Zetsu wasn't a KCM buff or a Sage Mode buff. I would say it was a decent buff, he could break that stone covering the entrance of Madara's cave but Sakura could do that in early Shippuden so that's not a big deal. However, Spiral Zetsu made Obito much stronger than than his base form because he wasn't very strong at all I would say. But then of course, on top of his amped physical abilities and wood style, he got his trump card, the Kamui. Though we don't know if he could absorb people into Kamui because he never used that in the fight and I would have to assume he can't because that was the very first time he was using that jutsu and he should not be terribly proficient at it, he shouldn't know everything it does, like Sasuke when he first used Amaterasu against B and he didn't know exactly what he was doing. I don't think Obito would understand how to use the absorption of Kamui before that fight ended. He mostly relied on phasing through things, which appears to be an innate ability that he understood immediately after he got his Mangekyo, and also powerful wood style techniques. If you watch Naruto, you'll know that wood style and Kamui are two of the biggest hacks in the entire show. They are very powerful abilities, and even though Obito's Kamui wasn't completed in that fight, the ability to phase through things by itself is already very overpowered. I would definitely put that Obito somewhere in Kage level. I don't know if it's low or mid. I don't think it's high Kage level. First, because he was bloodlusted and he wasn't really thinking straight. He was just in there to kill those guys and just vent his rage essentially and that's not the best mindset to fight opponents of similar strength because they can strategize around this rage of yours and if you're not thinking clearly in a battle in the Naruto world that's a very bad thing because strategy is key like on that moment he pinned one of the mist ninjas down and punched him 20 times in the face turning him into mush well if someone else Else was fighting him he could just use a clone or something like that and make Obito attack him with his anger and then when Obito is distracted just destroying it you could attack him from behind and win the fight so it's not a great mindset to enter a battle on a rage mode in Naruto it can be in other anime series but not in Naruto in most situations at least we can see that characters that enter battles on a rage mode usually don't fare well just look at how the Rai Kage did against Sasuke. He lost an arm and he was going to die if he continued to attack and he could have gone about that fight with much more intelligence I would say. By the way, how do you think this Obito, Blood Mist Obito, would do against 5 Kage Summit Sasuke? Well that's an interesting question I think. Even though Obito has his hacks, I'm not sure if he is as fast as that Sasuke. Because sure, he was running through the mist guys, but they were able to react to his speed because they were swinging the sword against him and he wasn't being hit because he could face through them. He does have wood style, but it's not nearly as powerful as Hashirama's or Madara's for that matter. I think it's much more comparable to Yamato's wood style. 
Even though he used a pretty powerful jutsu at the end when we can see that spiral looking wood with many crushed mist ninjas in the middle of the wood and a lot of blood as well, I don't think Sasuke in the Five Kage Summit would have much of a problem dealing with that Obito. I think he could use his flame control to shape his Amaterasu and hit Obito when he materializes because like it or not, Sasuke is a rather tactical fighter and he is good at dissecting the opponent's abilities, so he would understand that Obito has to materialize in order to hit you. And that Obito not having Kamui, in the sense that he cannot absorb people into Kamui, which is essentially his one hit kill ability, that's a pretty big nerf. I don't think he would be hitting Sasuke with the wood style jutsu that makes the wood expand once you hit and just like destroys your internal organs and stuff because that Sasuke is very fast and he also has the ribcage. So I do think that Sasuke would beat Blood Mist Obito. And also, Sasuke could use Obito's rage against him like he used the Raikage's. Another interesting opponent to put up against Blood Mist Obito, I think it's Sage Mode Naruto, the one who fought Pain. Would Obito be able to counter the Sage Mode? Because I definitely think Sage Mode Naruto completely outclasses that Obito in Taijutsu. But Obito can phase through things, so Naruto would also have to find a way out. And I think that maybe using Shadow Clones and the Frog Taijutsu, the one you can't see, that would be a pretty good way to hit Obito without him realizing because he wouldn't be prepared to phase through an invisible attack. So that level is probably too high for Blood Mist Obito. How about the Sasuke who fought Itachi? Well, that's an interesting fight, I think. And that Sasuke would have a lot of trouble. I don't know exactly what he would do to hit Obito unless Obito is unable to react to Kirin, which is a pretty fast jutsu, but he's always seem able to react to anything they throw against him. But I don't know how much of a reaction time he had when he was younger and fighting against those blood mist ninjas. I think that would be a pretty interesting fight. And I think Obito could win that one, especially because he has wood style as well. And we have to also assume that if Obito already has his wood style that he can also regenerate like he did in the war arc and all. I definitely think that that version of Obito would be able to take on the sun and pretty handily, unless Orochimaru brings in very powerful Edo Tenseis like the ones he used in the war arc, but I think that's about the level he is, a little bit above Sanin level. It's no small feat, he was not the strongest character in the series at all, but then in a day he got wood style, he got the spiral Zetsu and he got his Mangekyo all at once essentially and then his power just spiked very dramatically. Of course, he gets much more powerful afterwards, being able to face Minato when he was around 15 years old or 14. Though he didn't beat Minato, he caused his death at the end of the day, but that Obito is clearly much, much stronger than Blood Mist Obito. First, because he can absorb things with his Kamui, and also because he had the QB, which is a temporary thing because he didn't have the QB for too long, but still, he is more impressive than Blood Mist Obito, that's for sure, even though it seems like he wasn't wearing Spiral Zetsu anymore, so I don't know how strong physically he was at that point. And also, he didn't really use wood style anymore, and that's the thing, Obito never really used wood style a lot after that very same day he used it against the Mist Ninjas. I think he used it once against Naruto in the war arc when he was fighting him and Kakashi at the same time he kind of used to wrap the wood around Naruto and try to stop his motions, but that was a very minor attack. Of course, he also used wood style to kill Neji. <laughs> But that was more him using the Juby to use wood style instead of him using his own wood style. And I don't know why would he stop doing that, because wood style is a very powerful jutsu. Sure, you can always rely on your most overpowered ability, which is Kamui, but maybe sometimes if you don't want to spend your Mangekyo, you can also use wood style, you know, Obito? All in all, Blood Mist Obito is very strong. Not a god, but very strong. But he does not fight tactically, which can be a 
detriment to him any time he would fight against a more powerful foe. But anyway, what do you think about Blood Mist Obito? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think he is more powerful than what I mentioned here, or do you think he's weaker, or do you think I am right on the mark? Also, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. Thanks for watching.